everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. We're back and making another video on painting another character from Adrenaline. That's by Czech Games Edition. This time it's going for that lizardy alien creature, Sprog. We're going to start off using Vallejo's um, game color range. So this can be applied directly to the model as a primer as well as a base coat. It's supposed to stick to anything. And so far it's been working well for me. And it saves me going outside and using a spray can primer. So I'm using Goblin Green here. You can see it's not quite a perfect match to that plastic underneath, but when it dries, it's very, very similar. But it's a little bit easier to tell where you've applied the paint. So I'm using quite a wrecked brush there and just applying that quite liberally over the model. Nice, nice even coat. And then after that, we're going to use a Scorpino green and a dry brush. And I'm going to be dry brushing that across all of his skin. Most of this model is green skin. So it's actually quite a simple model. The Banshee was really, really quick and easy as well. And this is this is no different. It's not a difficult job. After that first quite heavy dry brush of this Scorpino green, I'm going to use livery livery. Oh no, I've forgotten how to say it after I've been taught by the viewers. I'm going to use their bright, bright green by, by Vallejo. I've just got a better range of greens, so that's why I'm using these colours for this. After all that dry brushing skin's complete, we're going to use some wash. I just wasn't happy with the contrast between those three greens, and I just wanted to use Army Painters Horde Shader. It's a dark green wash, and that's just going to bring out the details and really add a high contrast to, to his skin now and just make the skin look a lot more interesting. Next is Claymore Braid. Blade, a very interesting part of the model here where I paint it completely off camera with you not being able to see anything. Apologies for that, but it's all the metals. So he's got loads of armor on him and his gun as well. And all that's going to be done in Claymore Blade, nice bright silver. I'm going to use Abomination Gore and a detail brush to very carefully paint in some of the red detailing from the artwork that uh, that's on his gun. It's got a few bits and red paint basically on his gun. Uh, uh, just, just looking one-to-one -to, -one to the artwork, trying to match that as carefully as I can. And then you can see some on his shoulders. So I'm going to paint that on. And then the artwork doesn't cover the whole model. So I'm just going to sort of guess and apply where I think some little red splashes would be on his arm and just make him look a little bit more interesting than a big chunk of green and silver. And really there's not there's not much to paint on this model. It's a couple of colors. It's a really, really quick job. So this kind of detailing is going to be what makes it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more splash of color to him because there's not much more to do. It's only really I mean, basically silver and green and then some detail colors. So, you know, do, do what you want to make the model look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to use a survivor shade of the black one. It's very similar to the color Norm Oil by Citadel. And then I'm just going to paint that liberally all over the the silvers that we've just painted on and that's going to sort of really high contrast his armor uh, make it look quite tarnished quite quite realistic just look like big chunks of metal now once that's dried we're going to go into some highlighting just using the original claymore blade bright silver i'm going to basically be edge highlighting there's lots and lots of strong edges on this armor it's all quite geometrical Mm -hmm. uh, so there's loads and loads of edges and his gun as well it's similar lots and lots of lines lots and lots of sharp edging armor his tail pieces he's got like a blade on his tail that's very very easy uh, so i'm just basically going to go around with using the side of the brush and catching every single edge that's it it's just edge highlighting could similarly do it sort of using a bit of dry brushing similar technique i just think it would be too easy to get silver on his skin at this point and the edges are so defined it's very very easy to just to use the side of the brush and just catch catch them all add a glint of light to each edge like as though you know metal would look that's shinier on the on the edges right <laughs> it's flatter colors on the flatter surfaces um this is going to take a while there's a lot of metal but I mean, I say it's going to take a while. The whole model is not going to take very long, full stop. It's just a lot of edge highlighting. It's a bit slower than the rest. After that, I'm going to use a splash of abomination gore again. Could have done this before. I just hadn't decided what I was doing with his mouth. I'm just going to be painting him in some sort of like red lippy gum bits. Just make him look, he looks a bit like he's wearing lipstick now, but it does come together. Just bear with me. It's uh Gives him a nice bright bright face to go with his bright green skin. I'm going to also give him two red eyes in there. We can use electric blue, one of my favourite uh, colours. Full stop. I think that livery green and this electric blue, my fit, probably my fit two favourite colours. Um, I'm going to paint on. He's got some sort of like plasma inside his gun here. I'm just going to add that in and give it a bit of a glow effect. A uh, little bit of OCR. I'm not going to have it coming out of the gun and 
and emitting a light onto any of the rest of him though. Hot orange will just be to dab in him a pair of pupils. I'm going for red eyes, orange pupils here. So very, very carefully detailed brush, very fine point and just holding it as steady as I can and just dabbing him in two pupils. Luckily, well, luckily, it makes it quite easy when they're on the sides of the face like an animal and you can never actually see the two pupils together. So you can't tell if they're straight or not. It won't matter. <laughs> Going to use goblin skin, give him some yellow looking teeth and very carefully catching that across all of the teeth structure. And then I'm going to use yet sun yellow by Vallejo, a very bright yellow. I'm just going to highlight in those teeth and just give a little bit of glow to that pupil as well. So his eyes are now red, orange and yellow. Very, very uh, alien, very, very animal like. And then for the base, I'm going to use a bit of dead black paint on the top of the base. I'm going to, I'm going to be leaving the, the rim of the bases of the adrenaline models the same color as they sort of were originally, just to make it even easier. But I'm going to use that Escorpina green again, just give it a brighter green than it was. I think it just makes it look better, stand out a little bit more easily. Just, and then because of the highlights to the skin now, it matches a little bit more closely to the average skin color. And that's it. That's completely finished. We only took 48 minutes. I think the Banshee was a little bit faster, but both the models are insanely quick. And I'm going to be finishing this game in under five hours and a fully, fully painted game. It's going to be really, really cool, really, really interesting. Hopefully you can see in this these views, the skin looks a lot more interesting, a lot more better um, contrast between it looks a lot more realistic thank you all very much for watching let me know in the comments below which of the three remaining ones you'd like to see next